Good morning, everybody. This is Robert. This is Arizona Unplugged. Do-it-yourself world western edition. Except I'm not going to be totally doing it myself. That's uh, the road up to my property. And over this way. And here's about where my property starts. Going to the left. Early in the morning here. There's my tent and my Jeep. That's about a third of the way back to where the other end of the property is. And this is the road. This was from a subdivision that was started in 1970 that just never took off. And I came across this piece of land. I was looking all over the state of Arizona and picked this one up for basically a song. 1.3 acres. I bought it just over a year ago, October 2014. I got the property and then I started trying to figure out what I was going to do with it. I got onto YouTube and came across a whole bunch of other homesteaders like Troy in New York who does the off-grid project do-it-yourself world and then Carolina Prepper and Bill and Rosa and Prepper Nurse One, got a bunch of ideas from them. Uh, and picking and choosing what I'm gonna do from what they've done. Like I said, it's 1.3 acres. Maybe a little dark, but the sun's just coming up, so I love the morning sunlight. This is, like I said, it's 1.3 acres. So on my property, that's just to the left of that tree right there. Is where the house is going to go, the cabin, whatever. All right, that's basically the property. That's my driveway. <laughs> and we'll walk back onto the property a little bit. Um, my plan is to get one of those sheds of some sort, whether it's a tough shed or Graceland portable building. I haven't really decided yet. I like the tough sheds because of their build quality and construction. But I like the Graceland because of the price, so. <laughs> have to figure it out. But uh, lots of prickly pear around here, and that's gonna be one of my first projects before we move out here. Is Gallus prickly pear pulled out of here? But this will be right about where the um, I'm facing south right now. I'm right about where the north wall of the house is gonna be. So it's gonna be right about in here, roughly. I said facing south and that's facing west where the campfire is is probably where I'm gonna keep the fire pit and then we're gonna make a nice little patio over there in that little area right over in here and then I said the house is going to be bought here and we're going to have a um, southerly facing porch full length of the cabin so if we want to sit watch the morning sunrise we can and want to sit and watch the afternoon sunset we can. I said this is southern Arizona here so not too worried so much about the heat as the air conditioner so Gonna have quite a few solar panels just to power the air conditioners. Hopefully don't need more than one or two. And I'll have propane tanks set up for <coughs> uh, heat and water heater. And so that's why I'm calling it Arizona Unplugged versus Arizona Off-Grid because I'm gonna still be using propane that I gotta get from the man. 
that the property goes over there. Oh, at least to that tree. And I can't quite see it now, way on the other side of that bush. And around over there. Oh, there we go. Almost everything you see in here is my property. Well, right to there. Yep, I'm looking forward to this for a long time. So we've got about another year before we'll be able to buy the cabin, bring it out here, and I'm retiring in about four and a half years. It'll give me a couple years to get it all set up, insulated, worked on. So I'm really looking forward to this. And this is going to be my introductory video to YouTube on what I'm going to do and where I'm going to do it. <laughs> I got to get going to have to get my water trucked in unless I'm lucky enough to find out that there is water to be had here. And we're going to do rainwater collection systems and okay. And now for something completely different. I'm sure you've all heard the saying: the juice is not worth the squeeze. Well, that's kind of the way I feel. Um, instead of pursuing that which I enjoy, I am now pursuing that which brings me joy in all aspects of life. I enjoyed making the videos, but they were not bringing me any joy. It was turning into a job. And I just did not like that. I have a changed many aspects of my life over the years. Um, I used to be a, a pastry chef. I had to stop that because of my hip. Uh, and now my back is acting up again, which is why I didn't have a video last week. I have been agonizing over this decision quite intensely for a while now. This is basically saying that I'm not going to be coming back doing videos on any sort of a regular basis. Maybe once a month, maybe once every couple months. It all depends on how I feel and if I have anything interesting to tell. That's part of the biggest problem with doing these videos. I've got close to 300 of them up on YouTube now. But trying to come up with new ideas for new videos, that it's not just rehashing the same old thing or me walking around showing the same old thing. I started the off-grid portion of this channel about six and a half years ago. Um, I moved onto the property four years ago in the RV. Got the cabin two years ago and Susie was born one year ago. So my life changes quite a bit over the time. And it's just time to move on. It is amazingly time consuming to put together a 15 minute video. Um, Cause I gotta do the planning for it, the filming of it, the editing of them, the downloading to my computer, the uploading to YouTube, finding stuff to put in the description. And like I said, it's just, the juice is not worth the squeeze. Even if I had a million subscribers and a million views, I would probably still be stopping now. Because I'm not in this for the money. I was in this because it was something I was enjoying doing. And please remember, you can always contact me at deserthorizons at hotmail.com or you can leave a text at 520-261-3557 uh, the email is much easier for me, but if the texting is easier for you, feel free. Either way, I'll get the message. I hope you can take care, have fun, and find things that bring you joy. Happy trails to you until we meet again. Happy trails to you.